Hello everyone and once again welcome to our channel The Teacher. In this tutorial we are going to talk about top 10 useful mouse tricks for Windows user which can help you to boost your productivity and speed up the daily computer tasks. So let's get started. Number 1. You might always be selecting the text by holding the left mouse click and dragging over to the entire text. You no longer need to do this, instead you can quickly select various paragraphs by first pointing the cursor in the beginning and then hold down the shift key and then click the left mouse button to the location up to which you want to select the text. That's it. This trick is really helpful when your mouse doesn't drag well or when you need to select the text to a specific character. Number 2. The second trick is selecting multiple pieces of text and to do this select the first part of the text and then hold down the control key and drag over to the other part of the text that you want to select. And you can continue to select more parts of the text by continuously holding the control key and dragging over to the further text. This trick can be very helpful when you need to apply certain commands on multiple text spices. Number 3. Our next trick again is about selecting text but this time vertically. And this trick is one of my favorite, especially when using Microsoft Word. I often need to type documents where heading comes on the left side of the document and their detailed explanation on the right side and I often need to apply formatting on the left side text alone. If I try to select left side text alone by dragging through the mouse, then the right side text also gets selected. So what you can do to avoid selecting the entire text and select the text vertically is to hold down the alt key and then drag over the text and you can notice that this time text is being selected in square shape instead of line by line. Now you can drag your mouse vertically while holding down the alt key to select the left hand side text alone. Number 4. To select a word alone, you can double click on that specific word and to select an entire paragraph, you can triple click over the text. Do note, after double clicking to select a word, if you again continue to select text by dragging your mouse, the word will automatically start selecting one word in a time. Number 5. In various applications, you can quickly zoom in or zoom out the page by holding down the control key and then scroll the mouse wheel. Just hold down the control key and scroll up through mouse wheel to zoom in and scroll down to zoom out. Number 6. You can quickly maximize or restore a window by double clicking over the title bar. And to close various applications, you can double click on application logo on the top left side corner of the window. Number 7. If you surf internet all day long and open various links and tabs in a time, then the next time whenever you need to open a link in another tab, then just hold down the control key while clicking on a web link. You can also use wheel button to open the link in separate tab. Just click on the link by pressing the scroll wheel button over the link. And to quickly close a tab window, you can again use the wheel button to close that particular tab. Number 8. In various applications like Microsoft Word and Excel, you can click the wheel button to do an auto scroll in almost all the directions. Very useful in Microsoft Word and Excel and even in many web browsers. Number 9. You can extend the context menu to bring more commands when you right click on a file or folder. Just hold down the shift key while right clicking on an item and there you have more options in the context menu. Number 10. And on number 10 we have moving the mouse pointer through keyboard. Imagine you were doing an important work on your computer and the mouse suddenly stopped responding. At that time, you can turn on another great feature of Windows, which is mouse key. Just hold down the left shift and left alt key and then press the numlock key. A dialog box will appear asking you if you want to turn on the mouse key. Just don't press the yes button, instead click on go to the ease of access center to disable the keyboard shortcut link by using the tab key and then hit spacebar key. Here make a check mark on turn on mouse key using the spacebar and then move forward by pressing the tab key and make sure to increase the pointer speed and acceleration by using the arrow keys. 
Once done, hit the OK button and now you can move your mouse pointer using the arrow keys from the numeric keypad side. To click and select an item use the 5 numeric pad button and to double click and open an item use the 5 key twice. For more detailed explanation on mouse key, you can watch our another video how to use mouse key. I hope you will find this video informative, tell us by hitting the thumbs up button and do leave your comments in the box below. Share our videos with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming tutorial videos. Thanks for watching and take care.